So, Mozza, did you hear that Neil Druckmann confirmed that he has a concept for Last of Us Part 3? And he yeah, says I... that there's probably one more chapter to the story. You're a piece of shit, Abby. But there's one part about this that really sticks out to me, okay? So, first of all, Neil Druckmann confirmed that he has a concept for a third Last of Us game in mind that he thinks it will be the final, well, one more chapter to the story. Now, I don't know if he's saying that there's going to be a part four or if he means that part three has to be the one last chapter, okay? So he goes on to say that he doesn't have a story, but he does have a concept. And to me, it's exciting as one. It's exciting as two. It's its own thing. Yet, this through this line, though, is all free. So I don't feel like there's... Pro so Sorry, so it does feel like there's probably one more chapter to this story. Now, did you see that they said that originally they thought Last of Us 2 was going to be more like Bloodborne? What? I don't understand that. Like, what, what, Last of Us 2 was going to be a Souls game? That would have been so fucking shit. That would have been so shit. <laughs> Unless Abby oh. is like some Dark Souls boss and you just can't beat her. Fucking hell, imagine. God, now, you know now, what? I, this isn't I the part it. that gets to me. This is just context to all this, okay? Yeah. So when this got announced, we got an interview. Well, sorry, it was in the same interview that we had uh, Lauren Bailey, who I think is a, a pretty good voice actress. Now, she voiced Abby. Now, she says that The Last of Us Part 2, when that game came out, she got a lot of death threats and some of them were threatening her child. The incident, quote, taught me to keep a distance. Now, whenever it comes to these online death threats for these type of things, I'm not cool with that. Roast the fuck out of them. But these death threats, all they do is invalidate a lot of the valid criticism out there. And then these types of companies can use this to virtue signal. You're basically giving them ammunition to use against us. Okay? Right? I have no doubt in my mind there are a few dickheads did do this. Because there's always a few dickheads that do these things. Most mm. people, 99% of people don't do this. 99% of people just say, Abby sucks, Last of Us 2 sucks, fuck you, Neil Cuckman, okay? Then you get that 1% that goes out and makes a death threat. And that's I... a fucking weirdo, okay? But, but, with all of this, okay? So you're telling me that we get Neil Cuckman come out and say that there's one more in him for, for Last of Us. And that at the exact same time, we have Laura Bailey say that she got all these death threats yeah that timing is <laughs> bro that's I... just trying to stoke the flames a little bit man trying to stir yeah. the pot trying to yeah. stir the pot a little bit man why it was a bit of a ruckus man why didn't you that's say what all... really stuck out to me about this whole thing is like this seems dare i say it coordinated yeah no it is 100 percent. like that interview comes out of them crying about being leaked right and then she comes out crying about that i'm just saying like why didn't, why didn't you fucking show up while it was happening? Be like, hey guys, I understand you don't like the game, but I don't need the death threats. I'm just the voice actor. I didn't write it. I'm just voice acting. Like, why didn't, why didn't she say years ago? I don't know. Like, she probably did get death threats. Don't get me wrong. Oh, absolutely, man. Motherfuckers yeah. get death threats for um, everything, dude. Power World people got death threats. Even as much as we've been loving Power World, even they fucking soyed out and cried about death threats. It's like, dude, shut yeah. Don't cry about death threats on the internet unless it's a serious threat when you're making millions of dollars and you're humiliating everyone else, okay? I have yeah. no doubt in my mind that this happened to her. I believe it happened to her, but like I said, 99% of people don't do that. The 1% do it, and then you go and cry about the 1%. If anything, yeah, you should just be making fun of them. Yeah, yeah, no, honestly, I if I was them, I would have just done a stream laughing at the cons. Be like, hey, look at the best friends I got. But this is what really stuck out to me. I'm like, huh, these both happened at the same time? You can't tell me that's a coincidence, man. This is a coordinated effort to... to Get some, like, sympathy points. Oh, she got death threats. They threatened to kill her child. Those those people that hate The Last of Us 2, this is what they're all like. This is all they have. See, it's a type of shit that they use to just... It's a shield. They put up a shield. Yeah. So we can sit here and for, like, an hour, like many people have done, we've done it, you people in the chat have done it, everyone's done it. Here's everything I don't like about The Last of Us 2. Bang, 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 bang. At no stage is there a fuck you, I will kill your child in real life comment made. 
but then they focus on that one percent of person that does say it and they put up a shield and then they claim that's how they can well because it works and then they can use it to deflect all criticism because it gets the attention it just starts shit basically yeah. this whole thing this whole it fucking thing just seems so coordinated to me and when you think of neil cuckman and naughty dog's actions it lines up perfectly Oh yeah, Neil's a fucking cock, so he'd be loving this. He'd probably ask her to, to bring it up, right? Um, and he's probably asking her to make it sound a lot worse than it actually was. Um, it, like the death story could have been just, uh, I hope you get hit by a bus. Like we it don't was know, what you, the... wasn't it? Oh, honestly, I, I, I hope she did. Hit... Not her, but you know, Neil Kaufman. I hope he gets hit by a bus. Honestly, um, that's my honest thoughts. I hate that con. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, fucking. I don't know, man. I just think it's so, like... I don't know. Like, even if you did, just... I don't know. I'm just gonna be sexist. It but did. Of on... course it happened. It always happens. I get fucking dev frets. And yeah, I... Uh... This channel has less than 2,000 subs. My main channel is like 2,500. And I get fucking dev frets on the internet. I, like, it I just... happens to everyone. Uh, yeah, like, you get roasted on the internet. Trust me. Um... <laughs> Um, it, I just don't understand why they cry so much about people's, oh, yo, like, if anything, just talk about the game. Like, what, I'd be Ignore more worried it. about the, don't yeah, I'd be more worried, because realistically, they're just a fucking idiot. If they're giving you a death threat, ignore them and talk about the people, talk to the actual people that hate your game and learn from that. You can actually talk to these people and then talk to the people that like it and then try and do something with that. But no, I have to cry about death threats. I'm a fucking idiot. Dumb fuck. I'm a fucking idiot. But that was what I wanted to get at. This whole thing is coordinated. Coordinated. These things come out at the same time. Like, oh, fuck off. That is such... That is such typical Naughty Dog fashion, man. To coordinate like that, man. Fucking bizarro. Fucking weird eyes. Fuck Last of Us. Fuck Last of Us 2. Fuck Neil Cockman. Fuck Naughty Dog.